All right, I'm going to start a new video. Um, I wanted. I was watching uh, some old coverage last night, as I often do before I go to sleep, and uh, I noticed this uh, young man. He's from Finland, and Viani, Viani. See his name down here, um, and he has what appears to be kind of a style that people would say is wrong, but I don't think it is. In fact, I think there's a lot to be learned from this. By the way, this guy absolutely crushes. It doesn't look like it from watching him, but... He throws probably 70-plus miles an hour. Um, he was keeping up with Eagle on a lot of the big holes. But he does kind of a turnaround backwards kind of thing, which is not in vogue anymore. But I think actually is a lot easier for a lot of people to get uh, get the upper body turned back a little bit. As long as you're getting built up on the back leg. Let's just watch him here. So, again, see that he is doing what is not in vogue anymore, which is kind of turning his head away, watching the disc as it goes back, and he's actually, his head is actually kind of facing backwards pretty soon in the throw. But I want you to watch... His back foot is turned a little bit backwards, but not bad. Now, see, he's actually looking backwards a little bit. But I want you to see how well he gets delayed and really cranked up on his back hip. So you can see the back hip here is really set in behind the front hip. Okay. Okay. This is what I like to see. See how he kicked that leg up? And now he's basically just holding his chest closed and pausing his upper body, waiting on his lower body. So he's just kind of sitting there, not doing anything. He's not making a crazy reach back or anything. He's just kind of sitting there. He's got the disc on his chest. Now as he starts to fall forward, he'll extend his arm. There we go. Falling forward. Falling forward, extending arm. Really letting his chest get wound up. See that? Man, I like that. That is a big old crank up right there. And at the same time, he just has simply extended his arm straight out of the chest. And his lower body is totally loaded. He's already getting into the kick. You can see his knee has already started forward. See? Already started forward. His hand's actually going backwards, or some people would say it's not going anywhere, but essentially his spine's going forward and his, he's extending his arm out from his chest, and his chest is closed, and he just leaves it there. This isn't a, it's not a power move, it's really more about relaxing the upper body. Oh, that's so good. And then, bam, there goes his knee. He's already firing. Man, that's a good-looking position. That's about as good as you can get. Bam! Sound like that guy in that commercial. I mean, that's just an amazing position. Just perfect. And again, because he kind of looks backwards when he sets up his throw, it looks unconventional. Or at least it did to me. It's not really... He's not even looking at the target. He's got the target in his mind, which is, I have to do this a lot myself, being 53 and fat and no longer have any flexibility left in my spine. But I love the way he sets up his lower body. So he's looking backwards, looking backwards, looking, doesn't even look at the target. He knows exactly where he wants it to go. He's looking straight at the disc, still looking at the disc. And then he just sticks the disc out. 
I mean, there's a line straight from his nose to the disc. He's looking right at the Frisbee. But he's setting up that lower body's on this toe. And you can see this foot is splayed backwards, which is not bad. But he's not falling to his heel. He's on his toe because he's getting ready to spin this foot. He's going to spin it. Let's watch. Here we go. Okay, he's on that toe. He's dropping forward. Getting ready to set. You'll notice also he's not trying to set his foot any crazy way. He's getting his foot set kind of like this foot. It's kind of open a little bit. Pretty open. And that knee's already gone. That's just a great position. And then he comes into the tuck. And his hips are pointed... I don't know, this way, and his shoulders are still pointed this way. Man, that's amazing separation. People ask me, well, how do I stop coming over the top and throwing my shoulders? You do this. You have to set that upper body backwards and leave it there. Just leave it there. Just be relaxed. Set that upper body back. Set those shoulders back. And let your lower body kick. Man, I just love this. You look so good which I need to do another one right after this and show Eagle. He does the same thing. It's the same thing. Now, again, people get obsessed about opening this knee, that that's going to ruin all your hip action. Uh, well, I don't think his is ruined. He's setting up to land. He's getting ready to land on that foot, and it's open. He didn't ruin. His hips are, are closed, but his shoulders are even more closed. The trick is his hips are basically facing straight forward, and his shoulders are at 110 degrees. Okay? His shoulders are at 90 degrees, and his hips are actually slightly open now. Bam. So when we get to the hit, bam, right there, everything's come back. His hip is, his hip, his shoulder is pointed to 10 o'clock. His hip is already to 12 o'clock, but you can see the sequence. All in all, his throw doesn't look like Paul Macbeth or Pages or whatever from the outside. But actually, it's really great. And he's really getting cranked in. He's on that back foot, man. He's on one leg. 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 And bam, he's on two. Now he's on one again. I don't know what to say other than that's just great. And let's watch his front foot. Everybody's so obsessed with the front foot. It's got to spin out to the heel and all that. Eh, not really. Just kind of stayed there because he already said it kind of open. But look at this. Look at that foot being, this is what I do if I do say so myself. I wear the toe off my shoes right there because I all the way to the top of my shoe. I'll wear that toe completely off because it get that knee all the way around. See how he's uncoiled? He hasn't thrown his head and stopped the coil. He's uncoiled. That's just great. I just love it. All right, I'm going to stop there. I think it's a good video. Uh, please join my Patreon. If you're in my Patreon, send me videos and I'll do lessons and... I think we're making some really good progress. Thank you very much.